What up, YouTube? How we doing tonight, man? Okay, so tonight, it's it's finally happening, guys. Present to you my computer. My beautiful 1,500 euro computer. Yeah, it's finally freaking happening, guys. Uh, yeah, so just for disclaimers to start off the, the, the video, I already put the PC together because I did not want to make a video where <laughs> where I was going to do this going blind into it since last time I built a computer was when Windows 7 was coming out and a lot has changed since then and I didn't feel like being that one person that gets judged <laughs> how I put my computer together <laughs> so I took four hours of my time Friday night last Friday so four days ago and put it together and read everything every instruction everything I could do so uh, let's jump right into this and I hope you guys aren't too disappointed well, at least it's already together and I'm just gonna be showing you guys the parts that are right here before I show you the PC that's uh, built so I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, thanks for sticking around man okay so I'm gonna just drink some fruit juice first what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> okay. So first off, let's uh I guess let's start with the core of the computer. Start off with the power supply. Okay, so something that I learned was that this power supply is good for what I got. The only problem is the fact that my video card that I got needed more than 700 watts. Uh, the power, the video card that I got needed 750 watts. However, with that being said, that's only when the video card is really under stress. Uh, the video card that I got only takes with regular uh, input of the computer only takes about 245 watts around there when it's not stressed out by a video game or anything of that sort. So good power supply. It's got a five year warranty. It is 80 plus bronze like everybody else was telling me to get. So good power supply. I got this for about 55 euros if I remember correctly. It was around there 55, 57 euros. So that's, that's number one. Uh, afterwards, what can we do? Right, let's talk, uh, let's talk, uh, processor, because that's, that's very important for, you know, computer, you know. Uh, the processor, this is the top-notch Ryzen 7, it's the 2700X, uh, I felt like getting this one because it has the most wattage output, as far as the Ryzen 7 series goes, if you go... For this one, you get 95 watts in. Uh, if you go with the 2700 normal without the X behind it, it goes at 65 watts input. So with this one, you get better performance, basically. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know, as you guys can see with all the, the items here, this is an AMD system. I decided to go AMD because why not? It's cheaper. Of course, you could go with more of an NVIDIA Intel system, but I didn't have the money for that. This was more of a uh, budget build, and uh, <laughs> I think with the money that I spent into it, it took me, you know, a couple months to get everything together, as far as uh, financially speaking, and uh, I feel like an AMD system is worth it, man. So yeah, Ryzen 7, good processor. It's, uh, it's really not bad. Quite frankly, with the tests that I've done on the computer, I'm really not disappointed at all. Like, this is... I could compare this over an i7. I would be... This this would be the lineup I would consider between an i7 and an i9. Uh, but if you look at the i9 prices, they're just ridiculous. So, if you're looking for a budget build, Ryzen 7, man. 2700X. Right? Uh, okay, so next. Let's talk RAM. Uh, RAM. So, for my build, since I didn't have a lot of money, and everything cost me a lot of money, 
Uh, RAM, I got two times eight gigabytes, so 16 gigs total on the board. Uh, dual band memory, of course. Uh, and it's got lights and everything, as you guys will see in the end. It's a uh, really good memory, not bad. It's running at, uh, at uh, 2,933 megahertz. I could have gone for a 3200. Uh, only problem is it would require an overclock. And since this is an AMD system and that, you know, Intel systems are known for lasting a little bit longer, well, uh, I decided to not overclock my system because, uh, to be honest with you, it suffice. It's, it really does. Don't need to overclock this system. This system is just powerful, man. You can do everything with this. <laughs> so yeah, Vengeance. Really not bad. Uh, really not bad RAM. I highly recommend it. I am still really into this. Really not bad product. All right. So that's the RAM. SSD. We're gonna do the smaller stuff first. So the SSD. Uh, since I was on a budget again. I got a 500 gig SSD from Samsung, and I got lucky. I'm gonna explain to you why. I uh, I built my computer, and on CDs Coon, which is the French website compared to Amazon. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than Amazon, of course. But anyways, so this cost me 70 euros, right? Uh, I went to go look up some prices. About a week and a half after, it went up, man. Like, this is now at 100 euros. This little thing right here. 100 euros on the same website for the same product. I looked. I was, I was, I was tripping. I was like, there's no way. 100 euros? It went up 30 bucks in the, in the one week's time? You know, I guess it's seasonal. I guess the prices go up and down. It's like everything in PC components. It goes up, it goes down. And it seems like, from what I had seen from the couple months of researching, of getting my PC together, it seems like it's based on the months. The, the months basically tell out the prices. So what I've seen is that in February, you have lower PC prices or PC component prices. And as soon as you get into March... March, you just get wrecked. <laughs> Don't do March. <laughs> if you're going to buy your PC components here in France, right, I highly recommend January, February. I think those are the months that it's the most dead for the companies that sell here in France. I think that's why the prices go down between those two months. Uh, I don't know as far as the rest of the year, but I can guarantee you January and February are the lowest prices you're probably going to get in the entire year. Because one reason, the biggest reason is because there's holidays that are in December, right? And beginning of January and everybody basically blew their money. So everybody in France, at least, makes, makes a lot less money, certainly in the months of January and February. And it's cold out, so nobody wants to come out, man. So most people buy online, you know. And that's what I did. I took advantage of that. I took advantage of the month of February to buy most of the stuff I got. So yeah, remember that if you live here in France. Okay, so that's the SSD. So let's get to the interesting stuff. This puppy. This is the B450 Aorus Elite motherboard. Uh, this motherboard varied for me when I was looking up the prices. I seen it go from anywhere from 110 euros all the way up to 135 euros. I got it luckily at 121 euros, about around there. Uh, really good uh, motherboard. You have to remember, there is one thing that is really tricky, certainly here on the French websites. This Ryzen, since it is a second generation Ryzen, a 2700X, so anything over 2000 from what I have learned, you have to make sure that your motherboard supports it directly when you buy it. Because most motherboards from the comments I had seen on this website uh, have the BIOS that is not updated to the second generation. So that means you need to have another computer, either that or call the manufacturer that sends you the, the BIOS upgrade somehow through a USB key, through a computer, you know, I don't know how they do it, but 
I would guess probably most likely through a USB key or download it through an email. You have to go and see somebody else with your family or whatever. Download it yourself and then, you know, f somehow figure it out how to put it on the computer and upgrade the BIOS, which is just a headache, man. So, yeah, if you're going to get a second generation Ryzen, make sure to get a motherboard that goes with the second generation Ryzen. It's very important. You cannot miss that. If you miss that, you're going to give yourself nothing but a headache at the end of the day. Right. Uh, this motherboard has a lot of functionalities. Uh, as far as the functionalities, it has the one gig as far as the Ethernet. It is an RGB uh, motherboard as far as the... Um, there's a little logo on the motherboard that lights up under the video card slot. It's really nice. It looks like the Aeroris logo. Uh, the motherboard supports up to 64 gigs of memory. Uh, you have four slots of RAM on the motherboard. The motherboard supports first generation, second generation Ryzen. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, good motherboard. Suggest it highly. Highly suggest it. Here's the back of it. If anybody wants to see, it is. Uh, it's not bad, man. I'm really not disappointed at all with this motherboard. Uh, as far as um, I guess I'll, I'll tell the specifications. Uh, of course, the socket AM4. Uh, you have one PCIe times 16 slot. You have an HDMI, a DVI-D, so digital. Um, what is it? The DVI port, excuse me. You have uh, dual channel DDR4, like I was telling you. You have uh, two, excuse me, one times of a PCI 2.0 port, and you have two times of the PCI 2.0 times one port. So times four and then times one. Uh, six SATA 3s, two M2, M.2 for SSDs. Uh, I use the SATA because I didn't get the dot m the m dot two. I just uh, didn't have the money for it, and I just felt like SSD is the better budget build. Uh, USB, you have the three point one, and then you also have the two point os. You got eight channel HD for the audio, and for the LAN, the one gigabyte LAN, like I was telling you, and the form factor is basically an ATX. It is not anything under, right? So that's the motherboard, a very good motherboard. I highly suggest it as far as a budget PC build for a very powerful budget build. This is the motherboard you want to get. It's just, it looks nice. It does everything that a, a gamer needs or a streamer needs. It does everything in the right way for the cheapest price possible, man. Uh, and it's also the cheapest price you're going to get for a gaming motherboard. As an ATX format, which is, you know, the size of the motherboard for anybody that might not know. Okay, so that's the motherboard. Next, video card. This puppy. Oh, yeah, man. Vega 64. Okay, so we need to talk about the Vega 64. Hold on one second. I'm going to do something real quick. Drink some water with some fruit juice, you know, drinking some fruit juice at 11 o'clock at night. It's good for health, man. Okay, so Vega 64. Uh, the Vega 64, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. The first thing to keep in mind is the fact that this puts out a lot of heat. This puts out also a lot of watts. Uh, don't do the same mistake I did with the power supply because later on I might run into some issues as far as highly stressing my video card with maybe streaming at the same time and high definition gaming. As far as right now, I don't know as far as the streaming part because I haven't done it yet. I will be doing it soon, that's for sure. Uh, as far as I can tell you, I can tell you that this card with a 700 watt power supply does it. It does it good. Uh, I've seen a, a few videos of uh, some people trying 650 watt power supplies, handles it well, but when you're streaming and you're playing really, really high definition games, it tends to crash. There's only a few games it does it with, but 
highly commend, uh, recommend to go with 800 watt power supply, minimum. You can go for 750, but get 800 just in case. Uh, if not, the video card is very good. You are sitting under, uh, I looked up a GPU hierarchy um, as far as uh, like where this lays as far as what type of video cards we're sitting at as far as performance. Excuse me, that took me a while. Um, you are basically, when you buy this card, you are in the 85 percentile as far as 2019 and the video cards go. Because uh, I looked it up on the internet and that's where I got my comparison for. You are at a almost to 2070 uh, NVIDIA, the video card. You're sitting around there. You're, it's, it's really not a bad card. If not, I mean, the 2070 is pretty powerful. You, you're you basically expecting better performance than a 1070. I have to be honest with you. This card will do everything you need, man. There is nothing this card, you cannot throw one thing at this card. If you have the good power supply, there's not one thing this card is not going to do for you. To be honest, it just does everything. This card does everything right, man. It does throw out a lot of heat. If you if you want to turn off your heater <laughs> and you want to put a heater right next to your feet, I recommend this card. <laughs> if you want some high definition gaming, I recommend this card, okay? This card just does it, man. It does everything you need. I, I really cannot say anything else. It's got dual fans. I could have gotten a version that has like LEDs and everything, but I didn't want to because it costs a lot more. You know, for a better fan layout with like three fans and some LEDs, you pay like 200 bucks more, man. I was like, fuck that. Screw that, bro. I'm getting this card. I mean, it looks badass, man. Look at this card, dude. You know? I mean, you got orange, black, everything. It just, it goes, it goes well with everything, man. So, as far as the specifications, uh, it is an OC edition, so it is overclocked. That's to keep in mind, since it's an AMD product, for anybody that is NVIDIA sided, this will not last as long as an NVIDIA card, guaranteed, okay? This, it, with my streaming and my video game, I think this will last me maximum of a year and a half, to be honest, year and a half. And uh, for the price, I got it at 409 euros, just saying. Um, as far as the megahertz, the megahertz, the megahertz, the megahertz, uh, I forget what it's at. I had it on the internet. I forget what it's at. I think it's like a 1,600 or 1,580 megahertz. And overclocked, you can get it to 1,600 and some megahertz. So yeah, not a bad card, man. You're looking for, uh, to be honest with you, you're looking for a budget build. You're looking for a card that is not going to be very expensive, but that is going to be top tier for 2019. This card is for you. I mean, this card is for you, okay? But you have to keep in mind, this card will not last as long as an NVIDIA. So that extra 150 bucks you're going to spend for a thousand or a 2060 or whatever is going to correspond to the lifetime of this card. I'm keeping that in mind, okay? But if you're like me, you need to you need to get a, a good gaming computer. You want to stream some games. You want high definition everything. This is the card for you. You also have to keep in mind if you want a card that's over eight gigs. Because for example, when I played, I played a couple games of Anthem to see if it would work well. Anthem has a setting to go all the way up to twelve gigs or something like that, or eight gigs, excuse me, on the VRAM. It told me I couldn't because I would just be going over my budget as far as the VRAM. And that's the only downside. If you want something that's going to put more VRAM into the game, you're going to need to get something more than 8 gigs. Okay? So yeah, heat is number one, two, budget, and three, lifespan. Okay? Keep that in mind, but very good card. Recommend it. Okay. So, the boring part real quick. <laughs> Hockey webcam. Good, good, uh, good webcam. It puts out a thousand eighty uh, display. I played a few games of Fable on it, 
on the, my on my channel. Good card. Uh, good card. Good video camera. Okay, it's really not bad. I recommend it. It cost me 30, 33 euros around there. Thirty three or thirty five euros. Not a bad webcam. Uh, this is a budget webcam basically for streaming. It's not bad. Uh, it's basically sitting under the Logitech webcam. Okay, good webcam. Consider it. Next, the good stuff again. So, as far as the case, I got a pretty good case. It's got three, three fans, and it's the Warfare case. I got it for forty nine ninety nine. It's the one of the only cases that basically fit my fit my budget that I wanted to throw into a case for fifty bucks. Uh, the biggest downside on CDs Coons on the website is the fact that the ones that comes with the fans, uh, if you're looking under the fifty dollar or fifty euro range, come only with the front ones or with the ones on top. For example, uh, it does not come with the back one. What I wanted for under fifty bucks was at least some aeration into the case, right? So out of the into the front and out of the back for airing out the CPU, the video card, and whatnot. And with the power supply, I put it on the bottom with the aeration pointing down so it comes out of the back as well. So I got air coming into the front, going through the PC, coming out through the bottom, through the power supply, coming out of the back, through the back uh, fan. And I will be adding also another fan on top to point out. Maybe a water-cooled system? I'm not sure. The only problem with this case is if you're adding a water-cooled system to it, <laughs> it's really tight on space, man. Certainly with the, the, the video card that I got, it's just so tight, man. Like, for 50 bucks, it's good, right? But you have almost no space in this case, man. No space. No space whatsoever. There's none. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good case for the, for the budget-building people like me, right? I have to say, good case, recommend it, man. It comes with, on top, it comes with a 3.0 or two 3.0 ports, two 2.0 USB ports as well. Comes with microphone, headphone jack, comes with the power button, and a reset button, which is not bad. Not bad at all. On the back, you have five out ports. Uh, you also have, which doesn't show on this, you have the thing that hides the power supply on the bottom. You also have a back panel that lets the wires uh, be wired in through the back to hide your cables. Good case. Uh, the only downside about this case, which you're going to see in a couple minutes, is the fact that this panel that shows you the inside is not clear. And on the website, it showed that it was clear. Uh, that's the only downside I have about this case. It just, it just, it sucks that it's not a clear panel. It's kind of a darkish panel, but when you light up the PC, I have to say, you do see everything. <laughs> just not as clear as you would like, you know. But I guess that's always a good thing. Certainly if it's nighttime, you know, since where I have it, it's in my living room. I have the couch right next to it with the TV. I guess it's not bad for nighttime. It kind of hides the light a little bit more. Not much because there is a lot of light into the case, but it does hide it. Okay, so one last component. Up. And that. This bad boy. Or excuse me. This bad boy. Okay, so this, I have to give a special shout out to my girlfriend. Or to my fiance, excuse me. I always, I always mix that up, man. My fiance. Thank you, baby. I love you. Big hearts. This is the Skill Corp monitor. The monitor is great. The monitor does a thousand, or excuse me, 144 hertz uh, on the DVI port and 60 hertz on the HDMI port, which I kind of got screwed over because. I thought it would do 144 hertz on the M HDMI port, but it doesn't. I guess I'm going to have to get a DVI cord. That's going to take me a while, but I'll get one. <laughs> a really good monitor. You're sitting at 31.5 inches, so it is huge. Um, you also have a lot of options on this monitor. 
you have a crosshair option. So, for example, let's say I'm streaming, right? And I turn on my little crosshair on the back. It's got like a little man, a little, how do I say that, controller on the back that kind of like does a, a circle. And when you press to, to the left with it, or I guess it's to your right for you, I'm not sure. But when you go to the left with it from my side, uh, it puts a crosshair on your screen, and you can continue clicking to the left, it changes the color of the crosshair. So I could be streaming and put the crosshair on and don't even need the scope. I could just do no scope. <laughs> I tested it out in Anthem, it works pretty good. I'm just pretty bad, man, at Anthem. You guys are going to laugh when I be streaming that game. <laughs> I'm a noob, man. I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better at the game. But yeah, good, good, good. Good monitor. It cost her about 300 bucks. We went to the store to look at it before she bought it because I wanted a really good gaming monitor. And I have to say, for the price uh, compared to other monitors out there on the market, for the price, it's really a good monitor. Now, is it the best quality? Of course not. I mean, when you're paying for any computer parts or any anything that's technology related, the less you're going to pay for it, the less you're gonna get for your money, right? But for the bank for the buck, 300 euros, this is worth it, man. This monitor is worth it. I have to say, I mean, you guys will see when I'll be streaming. It's uh, it's really not bad, man. Like, I'll, I'm sitting on, you know, 32 inches of monitor space right in front of my eyes. It's just huge. You feel like you're immersed into the, into the, into the game or whatever you're, you're doing on your computer. Really have to say that. All right. So, you guys ready for the exciting part? Who's ready for the exciting part? Who's ready to see it? Alright, just give me a minute. Oh. See, I kept everything for you guys. Nice and neat in this box, man. Nice and neat. And I thought for the video purposes also to build the PC for you guys in advance would probably make the video shorter so you would be able to see it. The time has come. Yes, it has, Genrock. What's up, man? The planets have aligned. <laughs> the time has come, boys. The time has come. My little light for streaming with, because <laughs> uh, when I when I would walk like right here, you know, like the the image for me goes just goes black and white, black and white. It's kind of annoying, so I put a little light here to try to help a little bit, but it's not it's not the greatest. I have to say. Okay, here we go. Here's the bad boy. What you think, huh? Huh? You jealous? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, man. Look at this video card. Look how freaking huge this thing is, man. I had to put the, 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 the power supply that goes to the motherboard. I had to put that wire and the wire that powers up the CPU. I had to put it under the video card because why? Because my power supply cables were just too short, man. I couldn't put it on the side of the video card, so basically the the cables are touching right under the video card, but thankfully they're not touching the vents under the video card. And see, this is why I didn't want to stream building it, because I know people would have been judging me. <laughs> people would have been like, oh my god, this is the worst thing you can do. Yes, yes it is. I don't recommend this to anyone. Don't ever do this. Ever. Don't ever do this. This is bad. This is not what you want to do, man. But, you know, from my experience with it, uh, I think we're good. We're good. It's not touching the motherboard because these are metal cables. So, yeah. Conductive, conductive, goes boom. <laughs> Don't want to do that. But, anyways, as far as everything else, man, it looks neat, dude. I mean, look at this. Look at this fan, dude. Look at everything. Look at the Oris logo. I mean, it just looks slick, man. We're here to take the risk. No cowards beyond this point. 
You're damn right, man. You're damn right. You are damn right. So yeah, the SSD is here. The power supply is under, and I have the LED fan pointing up, so taking out the aeration through there. You have the power, or excuse me, the God dang it, the heat sink that is pointing in towards the CPU, and you have the two fans on the front taking the air out of here. And then you got the air coming out here and through here through the power supply. So yeah, it's a pretty neat system. Let me show you the cable arrangement on the back. Cable arrangement is not all that. I didn't uh, I didn't tie it up yet. Up there you go. What you guys think? <laughs> I kind of just stuffed it in there for now. You know, these are the cables I'm not using. These are the cables that I did use slash didn't use. And then I kind of just like pulled everything backwards and then kind of just stuffed it on the sides and all. Tried to hope for the best. For now, I mean, I should probably tie them up with the zip ties that I got. I got like three or four zip ties with the case. It's, you know, it, it does the job for now. But I will be taking care of it, that's for sure. In the future, just not for now. <laughs> so, who wants to see this thing powered on? Say it right now, man. Say, turn this for me. Turn it on for me. Turn it on for me, Blake. Just do it. Do the Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. <laughs> Just closing the panel back up before we turn this puppy on. <laughs> do it. Just do it, man. Should I turn off the lights? I think I'm going to turn off some lights, man. Up. Up. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here it goes nothing. Up. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three. How about it? Looks pretty good, huh? What the light? Does it look like? Looks like shit. <laughs> How about it, man? Look at the CPU. Look at the RAM. You got the Aeros logo under the card that looks pretty dope. The video card does not light up, right? Because I told you guys I didn't want to spend extra money on that. And then you got the two fans on the front. So I don't know if you guys could see it. Two fans on the front pulling the air in. And the fan on the back pulling the air out of the case. Yeah, man. All that for that, huh? And then you got the power supply on the bottom that changes colors so you can turn it off turn it red turn it green blue green again i guess some more green green violet you can turn it to blue neon i guess and then another blue neon and then back to red yeah dope huh how about one last look man You guys ready to see my streams being like mad cool? Cause I am. I am mad ready, man. I am mad ready to give you guys some better content, dude. Explode, boom! <laughs> nah, dude. Don't worry. I already tested it, man. I had to. I mean, I went. I wasn't just going to make a stream if it wasn't going to work, right? That'd be kind of stupid. So. Alright, so let's talk full price of the computer. Uh, yeah, I mean, with the chair, which you guys haven't seen yet, have you? You haven't seen the chair. Yeah, well, anyways, with everything, it includes webcam, it includes the microphone, which you guys haven't seen yet. I'm going to show you guys after this. Microphone, webcam, the monitor, uh, the chair, the PC completely, so the video card, CPU, RAM, the power supply, the case, everything. Uh, yeah, I'd say, I mean, I didn't even put into the price the monitor, but we're at a good 1700 bucks in total of everything, you know? So as far as budget building, I don't know if, you know, like that's the most thing I could say, but I'll, I'll say like 
more like a performance budget build. Uh, we're gonna say under two thousand bucks <laughs> budget building a PC, man. This is the best you're gonna get. I really did all my research, and I have to say, as far as best stuff you can get, this is this is it. For under two thousand bucks, this is it, man. Uh, you can throw anything at this system. This system will run anything. Anything and everything. You you cannot have, except for the power supply aspect of it, which I could have gotten a better power supply. Uh, you can, you know, you can throw everything at it. I guess if it does crash one day on me, I know what the problem is. The problem is the power supply. That's for sure. There is no other problem that should be happening, except for maybe the cables. But the cables are... Are good we're not touching anywhere that it shouldn't be so there you go guys all right so let me show you uh the the pc station because i don't think i've even made a video on that up come take a ride with me boys okay so the pc station you got uh the gaming chair right the microphone the gaming chair i got for 85 euros plus 40 euro shipping, so we're at a total of 125 euros in total. Yeah, I, I got ripped off. This is like the wish chair, but it is really good. You got, you got everything that turns and all. It goes up and down. You can go all the way back like PewDiePie. Can you do this? Right? <laughs> you can do everything with this chair, man. It's got the nice little comfortable pillows uh, for your back. You can go up and down. For your head, you can put it here or you could put it around the head, which is what I use for my little, uh, what do you, how do you say this in English, man? Well, I forget the dang on name. I don't even remember how to say this in English. <laughs> uh, uh, in French, it's boudin, but in English, I forget. Right, so, yeah, the screen. I mean, look how freaking huge that is, dude. It's huge. Like... Here, let me just, this is where I put my head, like right around here. I mean, that's, that's just, that's crazy, dude. It's so freaking huge, man. For 300 bucks, you can't ask for more, man. Uh, the microphone, microphone is really good quality. This is what I was doing my Fable streams with. Uh, this cost me 27 euros. Uh, it is a non-professional streaming microphone. And I have to say, man. You want to make some music, you want to make some good quality streams, you want your voice to sound good for budget? This is the microphone, dude. I could not believe the voice that comes out of this microphone. For 27 bucks, I mean, look what you get, man. You get you get the ding on thing for the for 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 holding it onto your desk. You get the ding on thing to filter out your sound here. You get this one and you get the freaking microphone. I mean, it just it looks like a professional setup, dude, for 27 bucks. So in, in, in dollars, that's about like, what, $31, $32? I mean, dude, you cannot ask for more, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, and also, as far as the whole, you know, stand aspect, it's, it's, it's good, right? It's, it fits to where it needs to because I have a small space between... The double doors that go outside, and then there's the table here, and then my TV over there. So there's not, you know, a lot of space. And I have to say, this is not the best, but it does its job. The the thing that's annoying is I would have liked to have a desk that you know you could put the keyboard and the mouse on top instead of having this, uh, because this thing just slides all day long, man. Like. I'll be playing, right? And when I play a lot, I have this thing that just comes in sometimes and I have to put it back out. But, but, for the small space that I have, that is a good freaking, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> a, a table for a computer. Screw it, man. It's a good table, man. It's really not bad. It's really not bad. Uh, and then the hockey webcam. As you guys can see it, it's right there. It's it's great, dude. You can like you know set it up. It's got the the thing on the back, so you could put it to anywhere, any position that you would like to. It holds onto the desktop because there's a little latch here. It holds onto the monitor correctly. Wonderful. I'm just I'm glad, man. I got finally everything that I needed. 
And as far as the keyboard, we're sitting on a RGB keyboard that lights up in red, or excuse me, just a red LED keyboard. It's really a good keyboard. I got the keyboard, I think, uh, at the time, I, was, I got it like two years ago. I bought the keyboard and mouse combo. The mouse was just complete shit. So my fiance got me another mouse that cost a lot more. It's more of a gaming mouse. The keyboard though, however, is a ASRT. So it is a French keyboard, not a English keyboard, which sometimes suck because when you go into the games, sometimes you have the games that are not laid out for French keyboards. So you have to switch every freaking key. But most games nowadays, already have it set up so you just jump into the game it's already set up for you man you just you know you just hit french or english and it's good but there is some of those games that just don't have it set up and you have to go through every freaking key and you'll choose one key and it's going to be like oh this key is already bound to something you can't do that <laughs> it's annoying but anyways good keyboard i recommend it it is not a mechanical keyboard keyboard however my fiance does have a better keyboard that i bought her and this is a mechanical keyboard. I know this is a little messy. This is her setup for now. We are going to be building her piece, her gaming computer soon. And now that I know how to build a gaming PC from 2019, next time we will be showing when we build it. Yes, we will. <laughs> Hers is going to be on a budget of 600 euros because she does not need to do everything like I need to do. So we're going to be building her a good gaming PC for 600 bucks. With an AMD system, yet again, because that's the best budget built, man. But yeah, her keyboard, dude, uh, it's really good. It's an Empire Gaming keyboard. It's me me mechanical. It lights up in every colors. I bought that shit for 33 euros. <laughs> Don't tell her I say that. <laughs> Don't tell her. Don't tell her. She'll kill me. <laughs> It's not a bad keyboard. And as far as the mouse on my gaming setup, I have this mouse. It is a, I don't even know what it is, a GXT158 mouse, gaming mouse. It has a few DPI options. It goes from anywhere to yellow for the DPI option to purple. And when you go to purple, you're in promo. When you go to yellow mode, you are a noob. That's just it. <laughs> uh, it has like six or seven dpi options it's great gaming mouse man i i recommend that mouse but yeah that's it guys that's it everything is done we got the dang on pc man look at that yeah boy all right guys how about it it's 11 o'clock at night i'm gonna end this stream and we're gonna stream some apex legends how about it what you guys think However, I do have to say I have yet to buy Windows 10. I did just install it on a USB key and, you know, plugged it in. Yeah, Apex Legends, we're going to watch him being a noob. He's a noob. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm bad. <laughs> I'm so bad, dude. So bad, man. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad I, I did this. I'm glad I finally got to it. I just didn't really have a lot of time this weekend. I had stuff to do. Certainly Saturday, I was just laid out with stuff to do, man. We had to go to the bank. We had to go to the thing. I even went to the dentist. I had to go back to the dentist today. I had my tooth, my tooth 15, so upper right of the jaw, that kind of dropped out. It kind of just cracked in half, man. I went, uh, what was it? It was Friday. I went to the dentist. And he had to, you know, heal it up and everything. And, oh, my God, dude, it's just horrible, dude. And I'm just, you know, eating breakfast this morning. And it's just like the tooth fell out. It kind of just broke in half. And I was like, oh, my God. Like right before work, 30 minutes before going to freaking work, man. I, I had the freaking tooth that broke in half, dude. I was just eating some freaking bread and, you know, my, my morning coffee. And it just broke. Like, out of nowhere. But anyway, so yeah, it's doing better now. And I'm going back next week to the dentist. And it should be doing better after all that stuff. They're going to put me, like, a, a thing up in my tooth. And then just going to put a replacement thing and, like, a ceramic or whatever. It's going to be so much better. All right, so see you guys in about, I'd say, about a good 15 minutes. And uh, we're going to be streaming some games now. 
And uh, yeah, so with the Windows thing, I forgot to tell you guys, it is not activated. So you might see about an hour in a Windows activation thing. That's because I haven't activated it yet. And I'm going to be doing that soon. So it's going to take a while. But yeah, see you guys in a few minutes, man. Thanks for watching this stream.